In this video today, I'm gonna to show you seven smart crate ideas to use in Serato DJ Pro. So we're in Serato DJ Pro right now, and I have no crates on the left-hand side. All I've got is my tracks here. I'm gonna show you how to create all the different types of smart crates. The first one we're gonna start with is BPM smart crates. Now, what we'll do is we'll create a new crate here called BPM, and I'm gonna show you all the different ways that you can use BPM smart crates. So the first one is creating a BPM smart crate based on a range. So you can create a BPM range crate, say for example, you wanted to get the tracks between the BPMs of 80 and 90. What you can do is come up to this smart crate up here and then go to add rule and you can go to BPM is greater than or equal to. So what we want to do is we want to put in here 80 BPM and then we're going to go to add rule again, go to BPM and then we want to go less than or equal to 89. So what this is going to do is going to get the tracks from the BPM range of 80 up until 89. We don't want to get 90 because that's going to be the next range. So if I go to save here, and if you have a look in this crate here, you can see that it has all the tracks in here, which are from 80 BPM all the way down to 89. So we're going to move this under BPM and we're going to go 80 to 90 BPM range. The next type of BPM smart crate that we can create is just a single BPM range. So say for example, you just wanted to get tracks that are 100 BPM. All you need to do is go into smart crate again, add rule go to BPM greater than or equal to 100 and then you want to go BPM is less than or equal to 100 so then what you'll do is you're just going to get a bunch of tracks that are just 100 BPM so if I click save here you can see in this crate that all there are are tracks that are 100 BPM so now we'll move this into here and we'll just go 100 BPM. You can also create BPM crates based on genre. So if we go to create smart crate again, go to add rule, we can go to genre is let's say house. And then what we can do is add a rule. We can go BPM is greater than or equal to 120. And we can go another rule and go BPM is less than or equal to 125. So if I go to save here, now inside this crate, we have the BPM range of 100 to 125 and they're all house crates. You can also do this for different types of genres as well. So I'm gonna just move this into here and go house 120 to 125. You can also do BPM ranges based on energy or sections of the night. So I like to split up my music by sections of the night so opening warm up or main set let's create a crate based on warm up and then between the ranges of i don't know 100 bpm to 105 so if i go create a crate here go to add rule now the way i determine the section of the night in the remixer column i either put orange for warm up yellow for opening or green for main set so in this case we're going to go remixer is orange then we're going to go add rule so we want a genre which is r and b and then we want the bpm range which is greater than 101 and then bpm is less than 106 let's say go to save in here and now we have a bunch of r and b tracks that are between the range of 101 and 106 which are all warm-up tracks so i'm going to go warm up 101 to 106. So that was the first set of smart crates I'm gonna show you. The next set of smart crates is going to be key. I don't really mix in key that much. I know people are gonna come for me, but I feel like mixing in key is more of a house thing, but I don't know. But I don't really mix by key. For the video's sake, what I'm gonna do is create a new crate here and type in key. And then you can just literally create a smart crate based on the key that you want. So I'm gonna to go to smart crate here, go to add rule, and then we're gonna to go to key here is, and then I don't even know what the keys are. So I'm gonna put in here three A. So if I click save here and go to here, you can see that all the tracks in here are now three A. So I'm gonna put three A in here. Now all these tracks in here, you should be able to mix and they should sound all harmonic and stuff. So let's create another crate. Go to add rule, go to key is, I don't know, is it 6A? I'm not too sure. I'll go save here. So a bunch of tracks that are 6A. But then you can also create key smart crates based on genre. So I'm gonna go create a smart crate, go to genre is hip hop, go to add rule, then go to, let's say, where is key is 1A. If I go to save here, open this up, and you can see that all these tracks in here are hip hop tracks and they are in the key of 1A. So I'm gonna go hip hop, 1A. The next set of smart crates I'm gonna show you are genre crates, and this is the one that I love doing the most. I feel like every single DJ should have a set of genre smart crates in their music library. This is good for, say for example, you don't know what direction you wanna go to, so you just go into a hip hop crate and then you'll figure out where you wanna go in there. Or it's also good for sorting out your music. Now, what I'm gonna do is create a new crate here and go 
genre and then I'm gonna create a bunch of smart crates so I'm gonna go into genre is house so I can save that and you can see in here that we got all my house songs in here so the next crate I'm gonna create go to add rule go to genre is dancehall save that so you've got dancehall here and then let's create one more let's go genre is commercial save that and then in here i'm just going to put commercial so now you've just created a bunch of smart crates that are based on the genres that you have in your music library now in your music library you might not have all the genres you might not have all the years but i have created a tool called music library tools which will allow you to automatically scan your music library and get the genre and the years now it's not going to get the genre and the years for every single track because that's near impossible but it will do a very good job so if you're interested in music library tools check the link in the description down below the next set of crates that i'm going to show you are sections of the night so i did say previously that i do split up my sections by warm-up main set and opening but i also do create a separate crate called delete which i'm going to show you right now so i'm going to put in here another crate called sections right i'm going to create a smart crate here so like i said i do it all based on the remixer so remixer is yellow save that so these are just yellow opening. So you can see in here that I have all my yellow opening tracks. So say for example, when I go into a club and no one's in there, I can sit in this crate here and I know that none of these tracks are gonna be main set tracks, not gonna get the energy too high, etc. So this is just a really good crate to have. If I create another crate here, go to remixer is green, go to save. So I'm gonna go to type in here green main set. So every single track in here is main set based on kind of the genre. So if it's a hip hop set, you you can see tracks like The Box, Drip Too Hard. But I've also got in here tracks like Usher Burn, which are green because if I'm playing an old school R&B set, Usher Burn can be a really good main set track for that. So it's kind of like I've done it based on certain genres and certain scenarios. You might do it a bit different, but this is how I do it. So then I've also got another one in here called, so if I go to Remixer is Orange save that all these tracks in here so if i go orange warm up all these tracks in here are warm-up tracks if i go down i'm going to see things like pony party chris brown scroll down a little bit more you've got city high what would you do you got some drake some rihanna etc so all these tracks in here are warm-up tracks to build up the dance floor so inside here i also do create a smart crate called delete so basically normally what i do is every six months i'll go through these tracks so i'll start at green and then i'll start to demote tracks i'll go through the track if i think that it's been demoted I'll put it down to warm up. If it's in warm up and I don't think it's good enough for warm up, I'll put it into opening. If I don't think it's good for any of these three, I'll put it into a delete crate. So what I do is I'll go to smart crate up here, go to add rule, go to remixer is black, save here. And then I'm gonna put in here black delete. Now, what I have is a bunch of tracks in here that I want to delete. So if I wanted to, I can highlight all these tracks, press command shift and delete. All these tracks will get taken out of my music library. Now I've just created space on my my hard drive for new music. It's always good to go through your tracks and then start to demote them from certain crates. And if you think they got to a certain point where you think you're never gonna play them again, just delete them off your hard drive. Right, the next set of smart crates is a really useful one and it could be very effective. Now, I don't know if any of you lot use the play count in Serato, but it's a really good way if you feel like you've got too much of a big music library and you wanna downside. So I'm gonna create a crate and then call this played. Now, if you go into smart crate and go to add rule, there is a column here called plays we want to see what tracks we've played overall in our time of serato so if i go greater than or equal to one this will get all the tracks that we've played in Serato. So if I go to save here, you're gonna see that in here, I have played in my whole in Serato, my whole Serato, I've played 8,310 tracks. So I'm just gonna just call this play. Now from here, these are all the tracks that we played this year. So these are the tracks that we like or that have been useful this year. But we're gonna create another crate now called Unplayed. Now I'm gonna go Smart Crate again, Add Rule, and then we're gonna go to Plays, which are less than or equal to zero. Now I'm gonna press Save. All these tracks here, let's open this up 2381 tracks i have not played in my serato so i'm gonna just put this as unplayed now i want you to specifically create these two crates in your music library and i want you to write down in the comments down below how many tracks are in unplayed what i feel like every single dj should be doing is taking the unplayed tracks and then moving them to a hard drive and taking them off your computer and then just working from the played tracks because that will condense your library down to what you actually play then later on you can start going to the unplayed tracks and start to bring tracks back over slowly that way you can start building up your music library again but it's under kind
kind of like a quality control. Let me know in the comments down below how many tracks are in Unplayed. So that was seven smart crate ideas that you can use in Serato DJ Pro. Now that you've watched this video, check this video out here.